SOLIDWORKS provides many ways to ease the transition from 2D drawings to 3D models. Let's begin by editing an existing DWG file to add some radius dimensions to the drawing. DraftSight is a free, easy-to-use 2D CAD product from Dassault Systems that allows you to open, edit, and save DWG files natively with no file conversion or data loss. Let's start by turning on the dimension layer and setting it as the current layer. Then we zoom into this specific view and add the missing dimensions. Thanks to its familiar and intuitive user interface, DraftSight enables users to leverage their existing knowledge in 2D or 3D design. SOLIDWORKS provides powerful tools to convert your 2D drawings into 3D models. Let's take a look at how this is done. To begin this process, we open SOLIDWORKS and load the file. Then we select Import to a new part as a 2D sketch and hit Next. In the Drawing Layer Mapping window, we can deselect different layers by simply unchecking the boxes. As we uncheck all the boxes except the Object and Centerline layer, the preview window changes automatically. Different properties of the part can also be changed. For example, we can change the unit from millimeters to inches. Then the drawing is loaded into SOLIDWORKS, but it is still in 2D orientation. However, innovative tools within SOLIDWORKS allow you to fold the 2D views into the proper 3D orientation. This is done by selecting the geometry that defines the front and the right views of the drawing. The last step is to align the sketch edges. To do that, select the center lines in the front and in the section view and make them collinear using the Align Sketch tool. Aligning the views creates a nice layout that is ready to be converted into a 3D model. We can also delete the isometric view since it is not required for the definition of the part. Now we can extrude the 3D model by using the new sketches to define the profile of the features. Let's start by creating a revolved geometry using the section view to define the profile. The contour select tool allows you to easily specify the profile of the part. Then you can select the center line to use it as the axis of revolution. Once we have created the base feature, we can continue to add features that define the part. We can perform an extrude cut using the front view. While we are selecting regions of the sketch to define the profile, the preview automatically updates so that we can be sure to create the right cut with minimum effort. We can also change the end condition to cut through the entire geometry. Finally, we create the last remaining cuts. After selecting all the holes, the depth of the feature is defined by picking the end point from the appropriate view. Easily done. As you have seen, SOLIDWORKS and DraftSight provide the necessary tools to not only edit and maintain existing DWG data, but also to easily convert them into 3D models. SOLIDWORKS applications provide great capabilities you can use right away for design, simulation, communication, and file management to work faster and make your products better. Explore all the features in the demo library or contact your nearest SOLIDWORKS reseller. Thank <laughs> you.